everyone, Hope Pretty K. So today I have a Kendall Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I have been wanting to do a Kendall red lip makeup tutorial for quite some time now, but like I said in my Kylie uh, tutorial that I did a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to wait till I had dark hair again so it kind of fitted in with the female a little bit more. So Kendall has been wearing a red lip uh, quite a lot recently. She's worn it to awards show, she's worn it in modeling campaigns and out and about really. And I just think that she rocks a red lip so, so well. Recently I got uh, MAC Ruby Woo into my kind of purchases and apparently that's the red lip that Taylor Swift wears so I was like if it's good enough for Kendall and Tyler, Taylor is good enough for me. So it's a very glowy look, not much uh, eyeshadow, a little bit of bronze coppery eyeshadow and then obviously the statement red lip. Um, also, Kendall's always been wearing red when she wears like a red lip and the only red thing I had was this pyjama top. So excuse the fact that I'm in my pyjamas but I didn't really have much else. But yeah, if you wanna see how I recreated this Kendall inspired red lip look, then keep on watching. For foundation, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix which gives you a really nice glowy finish because Kendall's look was very flawless but very glowy and dewy at the same time. And this is the perfect foundation for that kind of look. To just get rid of any spots or any flaws, because obviously Kendall is flawless, I'm going to be using the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. Um, I'm basically using this because I have one in my collection and I've run out of concealer. It's not the most amazing concealer, but I quite like it for covering up blemishes, but also under the eyes as well. I'm going to use the Rimmel Last and Finish Concealer underneath my eyes to just brighten up the whole area and get rid of any eye bags that I have. Well, which I definitely have. <music> Using the powder from the same range to just make sure that everything is all matte and that all my concealer is set. All those Kendall's look was very glowy. It was kind of a highlighter glow rather than a shiny glow. This is quite a bronzy look for Kendall, so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer, which gives you a really nice sun-kissed glow and really warms up the skin tone. For contour, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette, which is very similar to the Anastasia one, but a lot, lot cheaper. I'm going to contour my nose and do some highlighting, as well as trying to contour my cheeks as well. It was hard to tell in pictures whether Kendall actually had any blush on, but I kind of decided that she didn't. So I used this cream highlighter from the body shop to start off a little bit of glow and then went in with the Balm Mary Lou Manizer to just really, really up the volume with the glow because Kendall's look was very, very highlighted and glowy. I was looking at showed that Kendall had a really bronzy coppery eye. There wasn't much eyeshadow apart from this one kind of coppery bronzy shade. So I'm using this shade which is actually called Copper Bronze from Estee Lauder. I'm just popping this all over the lid and a little bit into the crease. Then I'm going to put some underneath on my lower lash line to just add a little bit of a smokier effect which Kendall definitely was rocking. I'm going to put on a tiny bit of liquid liner just to define my lashes and this is the L'Oreal Super Liner. I couldn't tell whether Kendall had it on or not but I just thought this would make my lashes look a little bit thicker and blacker and fuller um, so that when I go in with my mascara which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara they would look a lot more voluminous and black. Kendall's normally quite natural but in this picture she had some serious lash going on so I use these lashes that I got from Sally's um, to really kind of open up my eyes and add a bit of more drama and I just applied these with some duo glue and some tweezers which is the most easiest way to apply false lashes in my opinion. For my brows I'm using this crown angled brush which is amazing for doing your brows and then a wet and wild uh, makeup palette. Basically just use a dark brown eyeshadow. Kendall's brows were quite full and quite dark so this is the same kind of effect that I've tried to go for. Lip, I'm going to be using MAC Ruby Woo, which I think is very similar, if not the same one that Kendall used in this picture. I really want to get my hands on the special edition Estee Lauder lipstick, which has actually been 
um, I don't know if it's been decided, like designed by Kendall, but it's her lipstick. So I really wanna get that, but it's online only, unfortunately, which is more of an orangey toned red. So I just thought I'd go for a classic red today. And I'm just basically putting it on bit by bit, trying not to make any mistakes. Um, I decided to not use lip liner because I couldn't find mine. Um, so yeah, I would probably recommend using lip liner because it makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> And there we have it. This is the finished Kendall Jenner inspired makeup look. I really need to stop doing Kendall and Kylie Jenner makeup looks because they are not good for my self-confidence. When I look back at these shots and realise I just don't look good compared to what they look like. But yes, this is a look and I think it's a really pretty look and it's a little bit different to the one I normally wear. So it's nice to see something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoyed this Kendall inspired makeup look. I really enjoyed doing it and it's nice to see myself with something a little bit different because usually... I'm very much a smoky eye and a nude lip kind of girl, but it's kind of nice to see a little less on the eyes and a bit more of a statement lip. So maybe I'll actually try and be a bit more adventurous with my makeup. Uh, but yeah, I really hope you like this video and I will see you very soon on my next one.